I'm pretty sure you've done it, is um, wear sunscreen. So anything that you're doing that's making your skin a little bit more photosensitive, um, like preventatively, if you start well, wearing sunscreen early. only when you leave the house, right? I mean, I'm wearing it right now because I have windows that have that sunlight comes through. I'm it's just sure like being, like in, yeah, it's just like being in a car, you know. And when you're in your car, um, I'm fifties daily. Who's that? <laughs> Hi. Uh, um, wow, your eyes are so good. Um, so you must eat a lot of carrots. So anyway, so I, so with the microneedling, I would say do it at night and then wear sunscreen during the day. With gua sha, you can do it night or day because you're just, it's basically like a face massage, but with a tool. And yeah. we do have that, that on Poosh, so we will make sure to, link to the story after and the fascia blasting story because you can do that yourself and the micro needling story and what other kind of skincare i don't know the spf i think is really important i know that you have gotten much more diligent about using spf and i've tried to make you wear a hat every time you go outside i don't know I, I, and i do wear a hat not when i go outside but if i work i've been working out outside lately if i go for a run outside i'll put on a hat if um, I'm outside by the pool at my house, I used to not wear a hat. Now I always wear a hat. So I, I have been much better at protecting my face from the sun. Um, and definitely, I'm obsessed. We, yeah, we will re we will repost, we can repost this that. I'm going to do a roundup at the end of all the stories that we Excuse mentioned. Excuse me, I, I have really bad um, allergies. Oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> So, um, and I'm also drinking out of our push bottle. We should wait. What was I gonna say? Oh, should we talk about? Should we read some of the questions that people sent? Yeah, I mean, I mean, one of the questions about the hair care, which I wanted to get into, was, um, and I think that you could talk a little bit about the hair care secret that we will be publishing, I believe, tomorrow, which is the um, rice water. Water. but one of the things that I've been doing is because l on the last live I was talking about how I was breaking out a bit more and I think it was probably stress acne and we did um we've written about uh stress acne so we'll republish that because there's some really good tips in there but I remember that I have this hair care line which I actually brought to show you and it's non-comedogenic which means it won't make you break out it was um, designed by Dr. Iris Rubin, who is a Harvard dermatologist, and it has like skin-loving ingredients in it, so it won't clog your pores. And what I love about it is, you and I have discussed many times that when we're in the shower, we um, make sure that we wash our face and our back after. Again, the yeah. Because, I yeah. twice. I, I, right. do it, I wash my face and body before I shampoo and condition and then after because of that this you do not have to do that because this will not make you break out it actually has ingredients that are, are good for your skin and you can also you, you don't have to worry about sleeping I mean with how oily you're letting your hair get I would still protect my skin on easy about um, about my hair touching my face and this the same thing you do not have to change your pillowcases as diligently um so whatever i've been really liking it also the conditioner for me i have pretty thick hair and uh it gets out all the tangles it's getting really long right now my dad actually facetimed with him the other day and he told me i need a haircut i'm like thanks so your dad my father i was like so do you um and so anyways this comes in a bundle um, it's called the B Steen Power Bundle. It has this Steen Skincare and Shampoo, the Steen Skincare and Conditioner, and this Steen Skincare and Blowout Cream. I don't blow up. And also kind of just as a detangler. And I use it oh, before. I didn't know you could use that if you're not blow drying. Yeah, for sure. It's just like, it's really good for anti-frizzing and it detangles a bit. I just feel like it protects your hair. And then I wrap it up in our Aquas hair turban and 
honestly, my skin has, I mean, this coupled with all of my um, kind of skin um, treatments that I've been doing at home have been game changers. So I also have heard of that a charity for kids in Armenia. So I thought that was really interesting. Yes. And they're clean and vegan and non-irritating. So it's like all the things that Push is about. I'm really into that. Um, so. Someone just asked, Court, how long are you not washing your hair for? I'll probably wash it once a week right now. How, so. I'll go, I'll go one week of not washing, then I'll shampoo condition, and then I'll do the same. But you're still putting water on it. I, I still rinse talk with about, water. Talk about your other hair treatment, because people want to know. That a lot of questions have to do with hair. Um, do a little story on the, on the not washing hair. <laughs> no. Kim told me about this rice water um, that makes your hair actually grow and makes your hair thicker. So I, I haven't done it yet myself, but I'm dying to do it now that I don't have the kids for like another day or so. I, I will definitely do this. But she does it every day. She said it's totally made a difference in her hair. And we're doing, putting up the story on Koosh tomorrow. Let's get into the... The other questions? Okay. Should we just read some? Yeah, where's your diffuser? It's in the back, do you see it? Or can you not see it? Hold on. No, I can't see it. Let's see. Do you see it there on my end table? Oh yeah, yeah I see it. So you guys, my room smells so yummy because, should I take the phone closer? Sure. So you can really see it? Oh, hold on. So, this is my room. Wait, your sister Chloe just texted me. What? Your sister Chloe just texted me. Hey, I just what? Pop up. Um, so this is our Poosh diffuser, which I keep next to my bed. I wish you guys could smell how good this smells. Oh, it has our so Poosh pretty blend too. oil. I keep a little jar next to my bed with mints because I just like it. <laughs> and my water, but... The most important thing is our diffuser. And I love this. Uh, I designed this with our push team to look like stone. And they have so many benefits. We could repost the benefits story. Yes, of the essential oils. I love the way it smells. The rose is so pretty. I have it in my, um, I have the white one in my office and the gray one downstairs. Um, and I love that it's not an eyesore which I know you know you, you work really hard at making sure that it you know you love design and you love interior so you worked really hard making sure that it would be it feels it feels like um like a piece of decor it really does I love that I mean I think definitely when designing it that was really important to me that it looked like yeah like it looked like just a part of your home that really would go in any home and yeah. it also comes in white, it comes in gray. I have the gray in my bedroom. I have the white in like my bathrooms that are mostly all white. Yeah, and you have um, the gray one in your downstairs bathroom. Yeah, like, it I has the, the gray stone, so I have, have it sitting on the gray stone. And it just, um, I feel like, especially since we're spending so much time in our homes right now, it's so nice to have a nice smelling house and it also has so many benefits, like when at, at a time when, when people could feel really anxious or like it's really helps calming calm. and soothing, yeah. Soothing, comforting. I also love this candle, by the way, just a shout out to, um, to both of our friend Carson Meyer, who makes the best clean body scrub called Sea in the Moon. Have you tried it yet? It's at your house. You have to use it. I need to see. I don't know it's where it is. Is. And this candle, completely non-toxic, smells so good. So with the candle and our push diffuser, those are like the two.